Hello everybody, thanks for watching. If you would like some Skype coaching, it's incredibly effective and in fact so much more effective than setting up New Year's resolutions of goals that we want to do and maybe do for a couple weeks and then go back to our old ways. It's really a lasting lifelong change that coaching provides and the consultation is free and the sessions are affordable. So shoot me an email. Today we're going to talk about underlying anxiety that we have and we seem to live in a very or we do live in a very anxious, nervous, fearful, worrisome society and culture. I mean, it's worldwide now and it's this underlying hum like the, the hum of a, a radiator, the, uh, the hum of a heater, or the hum of an air conditioner, the, the hum of a sprinkler going off. It's this background noise underneath our lives that is constantly causing us this low level stress. It's different than the stress of your boss yelling at you or you doing something wrong or you having significant uh, money um, issues. That's more immediate stress and you can really pinpoint uh, what is causing it. This is an underlying stress. And what happens is our brain is, is constantly in a process of trying to help us, trying to serve us and guiding us on what we need to do and, and what decisions and what actions we need to make. And it, it's very intuitive. We have a lot of intuitive impulses that unfortunately through the busyness of life or the distractions, or maybe we simply don't like what our intuition is telling us because it involves discipline, it involves sacrifice, it involves stretching our comfort zone, it involves discomfort that we tend to ignore it. And it could be a multitude of areas. But we, when we ignore it, we kind of bury it or we do bury it and then it just lingers beneath the surface creating this inner anxiety. And one of the nice things of, that we do in sessions is we get these things to the surface. What is your intuition telling you? What is it that you should be doing that you're currently not doing? And people might say, well, just doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Just meditate and, and kind of blow it off. Yeah, it's, it's not that big of a deal. And it, but, but it actually is. And especially in meditation, you'll find these things come up. They bubble up to the surface. That's why your mind is always bombarded when you're meditating with all these random thoughts. Well, it's your brain working in the background trying to solve life's problems. And for example, I have some clients and they feel this, this tension and this anxiety and they will go to video games or the computer or any form, multitude, multitude forms of procrastination which prevents them with dealing with the issue. The issue might be they need to study more and that's what's causing the angst that they're not taking school seriously enough or not being disciplined enough in school. And so one of the things that will relieve it is we work on proper study habits and, and setting realistic goals and setting a routine that you can stick to that's, that's manageable. Uh, other people, it might be they have red flags or warning signs in the relationship but they're they're ignoring those warning flags because they don't want to be alone or they're afraid that they're not going to be able to find another partner or they're afraid of hurting the other person and it's a short-term gain for a long-term pain you might temporarily not have to deal with this very unfortunate or uncomfortable situation but in the long run you're setting yourself up for a disaster it's like a slow leak on the ship in the short run, you could just ignore it. The ship's still afloat, and it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, even if it's a, just a small little leak. But over time, that small leak's going to sink the ship. And that's what you want to find is what are those slow leaks in your life that you've been ignoring? It might be saving money. You're not being disciplined in saving money, and your monkey brain is panicking because of that because it wants to ensure your security. It might be health related. You might be ignoring your exercise and not taking care of your body. And that, again, will create that, that, uh, that hum of anxiety 
because you know you're doing damage to yourself and you're not dealing with it and it's getting buried and coming up later. One of the things you can do is tap into it. Your intuition is always talking to you or always wants to talk to you, but the distractions and the busyness of the world has gotten so loud that we no longer are able to hear that voice or it's just a soft, dim voice. One, one of the things people ask me, well, how do you distinguish between your intuition and monkey mind and that, that panicky, nervous part of your brain? Intuition, I liken it to intuition's like a, a soft spoken grandfather that sits in the corner and doesn't need to be the center of attention or the life of the party. And you have to go to, to him or to, to her and ask questions and then just simply shut up, be quiet and listen. And it's amazing the revelations this your inner sage or your inner wisdom will give you. And the other energy, the nervous or the, the monkey mind is like a spoiled little kid at the party that has to be the center of attention, that's crying, that's complaining, that uh, is causing all kinds of disruptions when people are trying to enjoy their time. And it's a heavier energy, whereas the, the inner sage or the inner guide is a lighter, more free-floating energy. And the easy part is listening is listening to the to that voice to your intuition. And I love to do just listening meditations. So instead of trying to clear out all the things, all the busyness of your life, you're opening up. You're opening the door to allow in the your sage to speak to you. And so you just ask questions and just see what comes to the surface. And if you ask a question, should I leave my job? And it might the monkey might come up and say, no, you shouldn't leave your job because if you leave your job, you're not going to have enough money to pay the rent and, and people will be disappointed in you and you'll look like a failure and all the fears and worries and concerns. And then underneath that, the, the sage might or the, your intuition might be saying, no, it's this is not your calling and you'll be much better off, even though it'll be harder in the short run, you'll be much better off on finding a career path that suits you and being congruent with who you are. And many times our discord or our, our unhappiness is because we're not living congruent lives. Our intuition is telling us one thing and our monkey brain, the fearful part of our brain, the brain that desires comfort and, and ease is telling us something different, the path of least resistance. And when you have that inner conflict, it's going to come up in other ways and we don't want to bury those. So it's, it's very it's very exciting because once you start tapping into your intuition and most importantly having the courage to follow it because listening is the easy part or easier part the hard part is having the courage to follow it but you as you follow it in smaller things and gradually build up you realize how reliable it is and how much peace it brings you so I really encourage you uh, yeah just just allow time for stillness and silence so you can tap into that energy. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to subscribe if you like the channel and I appreciate your comments and shoot me an email if you'd like some coaching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.